Sophie, are you okay? What the freak is that? What? Who the, what the freak? What kind of game is this? I see her. Stay there, kid. We're coming. Yes. Yes. What? Is it gone? Haha. <laughs> yes. What? What? Whoa! What the heck are you? Adjust the slider until the symbol is barely visible. I'm actually really blind. So I'm just gonna max this out. What's up everyone? My name is Doc and welcome to Dispatch. So what this game is about is that we are basically working as a dispatcher uh, for Ashworth County Police Department. And we're just gonna be receiving some calls, answering them accordingly, and saving lives. Cause that's what this job is all about. Saving people's lives. But what's the password? Is it my password? I don't have a password. You guys should always make sure to have a password on your computer, but I do not. So I'm just gonna type in whatever number I want. Letters, do letters work? Doc Games. All right. And, and we, s wow. Res major incidents, minor incidents have been resolved. Awesome. This is a very big county, and I seem to be getting a call. Hey there, son. Chief Yarish? I noticed that you haven't been filling out the reports on the calls you've been doing recently. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Chief. Listen, I know that you must be pretty torn up about what happened, and... What happened? Like I said to you before, this isn't on you. No one's blaming you. He shouldn't have gone in the way he did. He should have waited for the right people to come and... Like I said, no one's blaming you for that. Now, just don't stay in all night again and just fill out the reports on your calls, okay? I hope you feel better soon. I'll keep in touch. So we just started, and apparently I already messed up. That's cool. The chief is nice, saying it's not my fault, when I'm pretty sure it is probably my fault, since, you know, oh. Alrighty. We need an ambulance, quick! Alright, time for redemption! Okay, I'll send one right now, what's wrong? He's going to die! Oh god, oh. how could I let this happen? Oh gosh, oh, wh who's gonna die? Gus is! Oh my gosh, Gus, what happened to him? He's eaten a whole Snickers bar. Is he allergic? Oh, yeah. Is he allergic to nuts? Well, no, but dogs aren't supposed to have chocolate, are they? <gasps> it's a dog. Oh, my gosh. That's even worse. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. You got to call the ambulance for that, dude. It's a dog. So these are my only two options. Do not worry, sir. We'll send an ambulance right away. That dog's life is on the line right now. Okay, I guess I can only pick these two. Uh, he'll be fine. Just call a vet. Oh, oh, you just hang up on it? Okay. What's this right here? Traced location? Oh, nice. So, yeah, I remember when, when I would watch, like, 9 shows, they would always be able to trace back the number that calls the police station. And I thought that was so cool. Like, all you need to do if you're in trouble is just call the police station, and it'll automatically, like, trace your call. Which is also why I don't really understand anonymous calls because you can say you're anonymous, but you'll still be traced, you know? Unless you're calling from a payphone. I think that's what people do, actually. I just connected the dots together. So what am I supposed to do? Uh, Minor, cat stuck up in a tree. At 3 a.m.? Uh, major. Oh, I get to choose? Okay, well, this is clearly a minor. So I'm gonna submit that, not important. That cat got up the tree, but that cats are very nimble and cats can fall on their feet. So I trust that that cat will be fine. And it's nighttime, the cat's probably gonna sleep. Oh, okay, all right. Going right back into it again. Finally, I was beginning to think I would never get an answer. For 911? Uh, this is 911, what is your emergency? 
Maybe it was a butt dial. That wasn't much of an apology. What? What is the emergency? I am being forced out of this shop unwillingly. At 3 a.m.? Yeah. I am a paying customer and you cannot force me to leave. Um, it is 3 a.m. And I believe that's when stores close. And I think I, yes, they can force you to leave. Why would you, why were you even shopping at 3 a.m.? Uh, what is your name? I wanna... You don't have the right to know my name. Uh, well, then I'm sorry. I can't help you. Useless. I will be calling your manager first thing in the morning. Do we have managers? Does dispatch have a manager? Isn't it just the chief and the sergeants? The captains? Uh, I'm just saying a lot of stuff from 911 show. <laughs> um, glad to be of service. Uh, that was weird. Why would you be shopping at 3 a.m.? Unless you're doing illegal things, you know? Ah, uh, no, but there could be other reasons. You could get, like, munchies or something. I always get munchies at, around that time. And I go to, like, 7-Eleven or something. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, minor. Uh, I thought I already did this. Do I get to type? Oh, I type stuff. Okay. Oh, shoot. I just submitted a blank form then? Woman who does not want to give a name will not leave the store when it closed, which was at 2 a.m. Right? He said they've been, they closed an hour ago. Wow, does that mean she's been staying there for this whole hour just arguing? I don't know her name, but I'm sure it's similar to Karen. Submit. All right, let's see. Lots of resolves. Whoa, I put in a lot of stuff in there. Hi there, I know you must be, whoa, what is this? I wanna read the emails. Uh, 911, what is your emergency? Hello? Someone is trying to get into my house. You are very calm for someone's trying to get into your house. All right, what's your address? It's 54 Raymond Street. 54 Raymond Street. Uh, 54 Raymond Street, got it. Uh, do you know who they are? It's got to be my ex-husband. Oh, okay. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's been banging on the windows and calling out for me. He's not allowed to be here. Well, that is creepy at 3 a.m. Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure we can all assume why he's breaking in, but let's see if he's being threatening. Is he being threatening? He's trying all the doors and asking to see her. See who? Does he have a daughter? Is that the daughter? Uh, asking to see who? Sophie? She's our daughter. She lives with me. He gets visits. Ah. Well, he's banging on the windows. It's 3 a.m. Probably not a good idea to have the mom talk to the ex-husband at 3 a.m. Because we don't know what could have caused him to become very erratic and aggressive. So let's set a unit on the way. I see, I'll get a unit on the way to help calm things. Ah! Oh. Oh no, he's broken in. Tell him to hurry. Oh, okay. Uh, can you hide yourself somewhere? Can you hide yourself somewhere? Me and Sophie are going to, but don't try to find her. Oh. Uh, wait, what the freak? Did my light just turn on? Um. They're only a couple minutes away. Stay put. Sophie! Come on, where are you? I'm going to give the phone to my daughter and try to talk to him. What? What the heck? What? What? Did I get hacked? 
Can you keep him busy until the police show up? He won't stop until he finds her. Pass me to your daughter. Uh, Hello? Hello, what's your name? You gotta have Sophie? the child be calm. Who are you? I'm a police officer. I'm helping your mom and dad. My dad is here? He said he was gonna come last week, but he didn't. Do you know why he didn't? Um, I'm not sure. He used to live here, but he reached out a lot. Oh. Sometimes I think it was because of me. What? I see. They both love you, though. She sounds so young. Why is this car taking so long? Oh no, they're shouting again. It's okay, where are you in the house? I'm, I'm downstairs, in the living room. Where are your parents? They're, they're breaking things in the kitchen. Can oh. you, can you stop them? We can, but I need you to go upstairs. Oh, okay, I'm gonna run past them. And go into my room. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Sophie! Oh no! Come here, you. Stop it, stop it, let her go. Wait, why is he taking so long? <laughs> what just happened? Why is this car taking so long? What the f what the freak? <laughs> Sophie, are you okay? What the freak is that? My dad just my my mommy. Mom. Sophie, where are you? <laughs> what? What the freak? What kind of game is this? Has your dad hurt your mom? Yes, yes. He pushed her. And now she's bleeding. Where are you now? I'm, I'm upstairs in my room. I can, I can hear him breaking stuff. Oh my gosh. Can you hide somewhere in your room? There's my wardrobe. I could fit in there. Okay, get inside and stay quiet. What the f Get inside and stay quiet. Please help what my What is this? I can smell burning. What do you mean? No way. Is, he, is, that, is that fool setting the house on fire? What? What the freak? I think, I think he's upstairs. Stay quiet and don't move. This car? Is there only okay. one police officer? I'm, I'm going to stop talking. Okay, there he is. What the freak? Sophie, are you in here? Come on, come on, come on. What are you doing? Why are you circling around? What is this what is this guy doing? 8908. Do your job right, oh my gosh. Are you like circling around the house? Is he there? I just think he's gone. The smoke is getting really bad. I'm sure he's fine. Can you hear the, hear the sirens yet? Yes, yes, I, I can hear them outside. Yeah, please, please, I would love to help. Dispatch, this is unit 8908 approaching the property now. We need fire services here ASAP. Uh, I'll get some on the way. The child is trapped inside. Damn it. The fire is very intense. The first floor is engulfed. Do you think you can get to the stairs? The kid is on the second floor. We 
might be able to get in and out in time if we knew what room she was in. Okay. Sophie, I need you to go to the window and open it. No, there's too much smoke. Just tell them to come and find me. Go to a window. Uh, go to a window. They'll be able to figure out where you are. Please trust me. Oh, is no. Is she going to do it? The fire is getting worse. I'm trying, but I think she's scared. I don't think so. There's too much smoke. Well, we've got to try. Tell the fire brigade to hurry up. Uh, oh, oh my gosh. I don't know if it's a good idea for him to go in. Oh, I feel like the more I mess up, these weird, crazy things are happening. Like, look, I just noticed it says coward over there. What the heck do you mean coward? Um, oh, I don't. I don't think you should go in. It sounds too dangerous now. There's no time. We've got to try. What? What the frick? What? What? <laughs> what the hell are you? Talk to me, kid. I need you to help us. <laughs> we can't do it. <laughs> We've got to get out of here. What? What game was I playing? That was... That was a really good game? It was just really thrown off by the, the monster. I didn't know it was a, a supernatural horror game. I thought it was just like a police dispatcher horror of life game, you know? When you get like these crazy calls. Oh man. That can't that can't be the ending, right? If it's those type of games where you basically choose the outcome, I'm pretty sure there's a positive ending. No, no, no let's try again. Let's try again. Coward. Why coward? What the freak? I'm I'm upstairs in my room. I can I can hear him breaking stuff. Does your door have a lock on it? No, but. I could put a chair in front of it. Mom did it once. Do it quietly and stay calm. What is he doing? I can smell smoke. You can smell smoke? I think, I think he's upstairs. Push the chair against the door. Oh, Alright, I'll, I'll try. I'm putting the phone down. Come on, come on, Sophie. You can do it. You can do it, Sophie. Sophie, are you in there? Oh. Oh, that's so cool. That's such a cool detail. The smoke, there's, this door is replicating what it looks like in the house. There's smoke coming up, and every time that dad is like hitting the door. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Hopefully, but you need to leave now. I, I can't get out of here on my own. Please, please tell them to help. Dispatch, this is unit 8908 approaching the property now. We need fire services here ASAP. The child is trapped inside. How bad is the fire? It's pretty bad. Looks like it started on the first floor. Where is the kid? She's in her room blocking the door. We might be able to get in and out in time if we knew what room she was in. Sophie, I need you to go to a window and open it. I still think that's the no, right choice. There's too much smoke. Just tell them to come and find me. Oh. Go to a window. They'll be able to figure out where you are. Please trust me. Okay. okay. Yes. I'm go, Sophie. Do it. You can do it. Well done. Please be quick. I see her. Stay there, kid. We're coming. Yes. Yes. What? Is it gone? Haha. <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> what the <fuck? laughs> Come here, kid.
here, kid. <clears throat> I got you. Yeah. It's all right. That's right. We're getting out of here. They are getting out of there. You put me down. You put me down. What? Yeah? You gone? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Oh, my gosh. That was a good game. That was a really good game. Oh, man. I didn't realize there was so much detail in this game. Like, I wouldn't have noticed it if I didn't play it a second time. Like, the door, replicating Sophie's door, the smoke from the bottom. My gosh. Even, like, the small little signs that there's a monster. Like, you never really knew what you were going up against until the last moment. And that was pretty exciting. I really like this game. But, yeah, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think this game is done. Yep. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do like my content, please feel free to subscribe. I try to pop out videos three times a week. I might try to increase it to four once I get more comfortable in editing. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like and comment down. Say what you liked about this game. If you guys have any recommendations for any other games I should try out, please feel free to leave it in the comments. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.